Well, good evening, everybody. Um, no, I'm not in mourning. I'm wearing my mosquito net. Mosquitoes actually aren't too bad right now. It's just, uh, they seem to be a favorite target. So, <laughs> guess what time it is? Hold on, if I can turn this around, maybe I could take a little quick walk. I mean, if I was watching this video, I don't know, four in the afternoon, <laughs> um, five, you know, 6.37 p.m. at the latest, no. <laughs> So I'm in Alaska, which is one time frame, time frame, time zone uh, later, earlier than Pacific. So right now in California, anyone who's on my viewers, my family in California, it is 10 after 10 p.m. <laughs> 10 after 10 p.m. It's 9. I'm going to flip this around so you can see the sun. It's going to blind you guys for a second. There's the sun. I don't think it's really going to set tonight. I think, I think it's going to dip down a little bit and then come right back up. Uh, so we're at Fort Wainwright at Moose Loop. Uh, Fort Wainwright's kind of cool. Um, we're in Fairbanks. We got in from Toke. Uh, a couple of, maybe two, three hour ride. It's weird. Um, McGregor and I were talking about a video I did earlier this morning I just posted it and it was like a long time ago it doesn't even sound like this morning it just seems so long ago uh, today's ride went fine it was uneventful it wasn't really too cold but uh, we checked into our campsite here at Fort Wainwright well, that startled me people were running um, checked into our campsite went over to the commissary and BX or PX post exchange not base exchange Pick some stuff up there. Man, someone's cooking some really good smelling food. But it's so weird that um, that there's so much daylight left. I'm put my put my little mosquito net thing up. Anyone else is wearing them, just me. It's just that I just don't want to. I just don't want to deal with mosquitoes. But um, hold on. Ah. But there's just so much uh, so much daylight. I just didn't think it was gonna be this bright this late so like I said it's like 10 after 9 p.m. here we were able to grab some showers get something to eat um, we're tomorrow is just like a down day we're not traveling we're gonna keep our tents here and we're going into town to put the knobbies on maybe I'll go show you guys that so in the videos or pictures of the of the, both of our motorcycles you saw us with um, carrying our knobby tires. Now my street tires have just about had it anyways. And I'm actually gonna, so these street tires are gonna be trashed. Street tires, they're 70-30s. But um, they've seen they've seen their lifespan. But when I'm in cutting through, um, so here's the campsite. That's McGregor's setup. He's covered his bike already. So when I get back to Whitehorse on the, um, that's Whitehorse right there. When I get back to Whitehorse on the return trip, I'm gonna be taking these knobbies back off and putting 70, or putting uh, uh, Kendas on. So if you look at it, I've been carrying this tire. So this street tire, ow, something stuck me. This street tire has pretty much had it anyways. I mean, it's reached its life. So I think that's a head now scout back here. And then I'm gonna put this, this thing is a Dunlop 606, but this is for the more aggressive. And this is brand new. It looks used because it's been on the bike, but this is a Dunlop uh, 606 knobby tire for the terrain we're gonna be dealing with on our attempt to get to Pretty Bay. They're gonna be pretty worn down. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty. I mean, look at look how look how thick that knobby is. Let me put my finger there so you can get a reference. I mean, that's a that's a pretty thick high knobby. So these will be on the back, replacing this one, and then the front one is a Pirelli. So actually, I think yeah, and this is a head now scout also, and this one's kind of reached its life, and this is a. Pirelli knobby tire so you can see the depth of these knobbies 
brand new, obviously. Um, MT21 Pirelli. I think it has any other markings on it. MT21 Raleigh Cross. And that's going on the front. And then Greg's Greg's gonna put a uh, a 606 on his front. Let me come up to his. He's gonna run a Dunlop 606. Yeah, he's running a Dunlop 606 in the front, brand new. He's keeping his rear. His rear tire have, has a lot of life left. He should have some good traction. And then see his front right now. Oh, his front's brand new too. His front has a lot more traction than mine. So he's probably getting it. I'm getting rid of my, I am not keeping my street tires, tossing them once I get the knobbies put on. He's gonna keep his front and carry it. I won't be carrying tires anymore at all on this trip. Um, it depends on how beat up those knobbies are, which I hear they're gonna be. But uh, if they're salvageable, I'll consider when I get to Whitehorse, carrying, bringing them back home. But in another way, I'm just thinking, ah, you know, between getting out, because they're going to be on that bike <coughs> from here, which is Fairbanks vicinity, to Coldfoot, where we're going to assess the weather to see if getting into Purdue, Purdue Bay is going to be viable. Then we're going to come out of, let's say we get to Purdue Bay, come back out of Purdue Bay, dead horse. Then we're going to go down, I'm going to keep the knobbies on, go down to uh, Denali, and then we're on the 8, which is the Denali Highway. I think it's a couple hundred, um, I think it's maybe 200, uh, 200 miles. And we're going to cut across that. That's also an improved, very much like what the Dalton Highway terrain is going to be like, which those knobbies will come in. <coughs> and then we go up, I forgot the name of it now. There's another highway we're gonna, not the Richardson, there's another highway we connect out of that. It's gonna bring it back up to Toke, where we were this morning. And that's gonna be freeway. And then I'm gonna ride it from Toke back to Whitehorse. So the knobbies on the rough terrain are gonna take a beating at its own. And then when I get them on the highway, it's gonna be a very, not as comfortable ride, a lot of vibration. Um, oh, by the way, from Toke back down to Whitehorse actually, I remember this right um the road was really i did a helmet cam of it the roads really chewed up so those knobbies will actually come in to some service although my street tires did fine too my 70 30s did fine too but by the time i get to whitehorse those knobbies are probably not going to be worth carrying all the way back to california you know for whatever cost savings i have another set of knobbies back at home anyways so anyways um i'm probably gonna go to try to get to bed soon i just kind of wanted to show you guys how bright it is and we're the only 10 out here it's really quiet i just want to show you guys how bright it was here at you know it's getting on to 9 15 p.m here and it's 10 15 i mean if i you know just look at that blue sky temperature has been really really nice but we're just going to prepare for rain we're putting our rain flies up so anyways not much not much more to share with you guys other than where we're at tomorrow's a down day putting the tires on we're going to change oil take a good look look over the motorcycles make sure everything's good for the dalton um we should probably go out to a dinner like tomorrow night a nice sit down restaurant or go catch a movie or do something non-motorcycle or travel related we'll see what happens all right everybody um i'm trying to keep it low because i really do think a lot of these rvers are are sleeping or wanting some quiet time okay that's about it don't be shy. Ask questions. I got little stuff from my little felt stuff on my face. All right. Take care. Good night.